Hello, ladies and gents. My name is Taylor. <laughs> we're gonna tap into our energy, okay? We're gonna we're gonna awaken our third eye. Yes, our third eye. So today I'm just gonna talk about my crystals because I noticed like a lot of people don't know a lot about crystals I mean, I don't either I did a whole bunch of research on these just now But um, a lot of people don't know a lot about crystals yet. They have a lot I'm a great example and I hope that this can help you know a little bit more about your crystals But I do not recommend just going off of this because I got this off of a website linked below all the information that I found was from this link in the in the description down below there is a link for the website that I use for all this information so we're just gonna talk about my crystals I'm gonna give you a good little view of them like a sexy little view so I have 18 types of crystals but I have many of those types does that make sense I have a whole little list of my crystals it's a front and back page of all my crystals and their purposes and their benefits but I recommend researching more into it so today we're just gonna get into our little energy zone and we're gonna talk about crystals the first one that I want to talk about is moonstone this is what a moonstone looks like mine is a tiny little guy I got him from a little crystal shop in my town in my area so this is what the moonstone looks like now the moonstone I just got like a couple weeks ago thank you for focusing I just got the moonstone a couple of weeks ago so for this I have it helps ease female oriented issues <coughs> periods helps with digestion and it treats slash prevents stomach ulcers and I think crystals are so cool because they have that type of energy to do that so yeah and I have noticed since I've gotten crystals it has really helped me energy wise and emotionally like it's just it's just nice it just like helps me you know it also eases anxiety and stress it creates an emotional balance and relaxation so this little tiny thing is very powerful for the second crystal we have clear quartz um i have very many crystals of clear quartz this is the most of a type of crystal that I have if that makes sense I have six clear quartz crystals I'll give you a view of every single one here's the pillar little clear quartz pillar this it's not tumbled it's just straight looks like fake eyes it's very beautiful then we have these tumbled stones my boyfriend got them for me for my birthday and Christmas and then we have this I think this is one of my favorites. I literally just like rub my forehead with it because it's like you can see the oil on there, but I need to clean it. But it's very soothing. I will say. Clear quartz, it finds balance in one. It stores, receives, and transmits energy from many different sources and many types of energies. It enhances the life force energy. It clears all forms of mental blockages. So if you're struggling, and you just need to clear out any blockages just just focus and manifest upon the clear quartz it also amplifies minerals and other crystals properties which is also pretty cool so it's not only benefiting you as a crystal but it's benefiting all your other crystals so that's pretty cool I have way too many of them but it doesn't matter it's whatever clear quartz is a is a must you have to have clear quartz my eye is so red I'm so sorry it's my eczema it's a whole thing we don't talk about it for number three probably one of my most favorites um, I actually have a whole bunch I love just love crystals in general but amethyst I'm pretty sure you've heard of amethyst but let me tell you some info about amethyst. So if you count these little tiny crystals as amethyst, go ahead. So they're little tiny crystals. So if I want to put them into little spell potions, and I need to do more research on that before I actually do a video over it because I do not want to misrepresent. But I have a hole back here is my altar. It's a little messy. I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to move it. It's going to be a whole new transformation. And comment down below if you want to see me do some spells. Because I can try, but do not use it as a tutorial. 
And then I have an amethyst pillar. We have that. And then we have a little tiny um, tumbled amethyst. And then we have just a rough amethyst. Amethyst. You ready? So amethyst is a big third eye crystal. It makes powerful visualization assistance and helps you manifest these visuals into the third eye. Yeah. Yes! But it can draw out the EMF radiations, which also is pretty dope. It also keeps your mind in a balanced and smooth state. Now, what? The fourth crystal. I like all my quartzes, let me tell you. So here's another one. Rose quartz. <laughs> here's a pillar of rose quartz. Here's my rose quartz um, rough cut. I think that's what it's called, I don't know. Here's the tumbled rose quartz. Rose quartz is another healing crystal. Um, so is amethyst, so is clear quartz. Many of these crystals that I have are healing crystals. But rose quartz is known as a master healer. It teaches us that everything is full of love in the universe. It's also, I saw this and I, I wanted to put this in here. It's great for soothing babies. So like what you do is when they're sleeping, you put it next to their crib or near them in where they sleep, you know? So it'll soothe them a little bit, just give them a little energy vibe. It also calms nerves and it calms the nervous system. Crystal number... What number? Five. <laughs> Okay, it's not really a crystal, it's a mineral. It's lapis lazuli. And I know you Minecrafters know about this. Very important for enchantment. Oh my god, look at me, Minecraft girl. Eh. A vial of them. Okay. And then <laughs> I got one of these minerals from a package thingy that I got in the mail. Okay, it is a stone for communication. It gives courage. It balances the imbalances of the mental aspects of the human consciousness. <laughs> Boom! On to... Crystal number six. Okay, I think this crystal is actually really cool. This is black tourlamine. Tourlamine? Tourmaline. Tourmaline. Black tourmaline. I have a pillar. It's so cool. It just looks so cool. And then I have a rolled black tourmaline. It's very pretty. I, I like how elegant and sleek it looks. It's a grounding crystal for emotions. It also grounds the healing energy. So it's like a healing energy and grounding of emotions. It's a full trifecta. And it also helps with sleep and energy. The next crystal is citrine. Here's citrine. I have two of them. They're very pretty. I think they're beautiful. Will it focus? Maybe, maybe, yes. I think this one's smoky citrine. But I don't know. Citrine helps with joy, self-esteem, manifestation, and confidence. It's an antidepressant and it detoxifies the body from toxins. The next thing I have is smoky quartz. Now, as you know, I have a lot of quartz. It's an addiction. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It helps with grounding as well as black tourmaline. tourmaline. Also helps with detoxifications. It helps with the past life, which I think is really cool. I think past lives are cool. It also helps with confidence. It helps with perspective and empathy, which is also really cool. It's a healing crystal. You know, I just love me some healing crystals. It also transforms negative energy into positive energy. And girl, I need some more positive energy in my life. Uh, it breaks old patterns and blockages. So like if you have old patterns in your head that you just want to get out of there, you get some smoky quartz. Green aventurine. So I have a vial of green aventurine. Then I have green aventurine. It helps with joy, creativity, relaxation, openness of the heart, release of burdens, perception, wealth, and manifestation. This is considered to be like the luckiest stone of them all, basically. And it soothes tension and stress. So like if you're gonna do like a wealth spell or a luck spell, you see people using green adventuring. Crystal number 10. <laughs> it's called carnaline, carnaline, carnelian. Carnelian. And it's a just a vial. I only have the vial. Carnelian helps with stimulation. It helps with creativity, it helps with determination and reproduction. It also helps with courage and prosperity. It creates new fresh ideas. So if you're in a blockage in your head, it'll give you a new idea. It'll awaken yourself. It is a very good cleansing crystal and it also gives energy. It also helps with female pains, <coughs> period. Next crystal, it is the tiger's eye. I have the vial of tiger's eye. And then I also have a rolled stone of the tiger's eye. 
and you won't guess it, but I have a pillar of Tiger's Eye. And Tiger's Eye helps with empowerment, strength, creation, determination, inspiration, teamwork, abundance. Tiger's Eye brings courage to commit to changes. So it makes you wanna go out there and you know, spice your life up and make some changes. The next crystal I have, Malachite, Malachite, I don't know, but Malachite. Uh, it's like this green one and it's very pretty. Malachite is a blood cleanser, which I found very interesting. So like if you put it on your heart when you go to sleep, it'll cleanse the blood that passes past it. It helps with strength. It helps with confidence. It centers the body and balance. Well, this one's really cool. It relieves trauma, emotional and physical trauma. It takes the energy and the feeling of that trauma and puts the energy into this crystal. Because of that, you need to cleanse it more often. It also gives emotional strength. It's very absorbent with negative energy and it helps one find their place within this wide, big, big universe. So that's kind of cool. The next crystal, I think this one's really pretty actually. It's opalite. Um, this is opalite. It's very, very pretty. Opalite helps with creativity. It helps with the dream state. It helps with hope and it calms emotional responses. It encourages optimism, enthusiasm, and balancing these traits brings smooth manifestation. So it helps make your manifestations go a little bit smoother. It also enhances love for all beings in the universe. This one is actually one of my favorite looking crystals. Uh, it's more of a mineral. It is Cenolite. Now, I got this one off of Etsy, and I knew it was Cenolite because that was what you bought. This is a Cenolite tower. Now, it looks so cool because it, like, literally, it's like a reflective. But yeah, it's a salt, so you cannot put this in water. Cenolite helps with truth, helps with pathways, it helps with amplification, it helps with intuition, it helps with journey, it helps with birthing, and it helps with integration. This crystal rid rids speak Taylor. It rids of physical and emotional pain. It brings clarity of the mind and it's great for cleansing. And Cenolite is actually a good um, transfer of energy. Like you have a crystal touching the Cenolite and you have another crystal on the other side and you can transfer energies from each other, which is also really cool. Number 15, Bloodstone. Now, I don't know if these are Bloodstone or not. I'm pretty sure because I know I did buy Bloodstone. Here's Bloodstone. I'm not 100% sure if these are Bloodstone. They look two totally different things, but I'll tell you what bloodstone is. This could possibly be bloodstone. This actually might be bloodstone, I'm not sure. But one of these three is bloodstone, okay? One of them. It creates a base and personal energy. So it's like just an energy creator. All these crystals are energy creators, but this one is base and personal energy. It also helps with confidence. Many of these crystals that I got help have to help with confidence because uh, I need it, basically. Um, it helps with calming, it helps with decision making, it helps with creativity, vitality, and reproduction. It dispels negative energy and it enables one to have the willpower to overcome their challenges. And once again, it is a great cleansing crystal. Then we have the Torlamented Quartz. I think this one's actually really pretty. It's this, it has like a black line right through it and it's so cool. It looks like clear quartz. It's tourmalinated. Tormalinated, Tormalinated Quartz. I can't speak. You're gonna have to guess what I'm saying. It's a healing crystal, once again, not surprising at all. It creates a connection with one and the universe. This crystal dispels fear and it promotes self-confidence. It also keeps exhaustion at bay. The second to last one, Pyrite. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably know about Pyrite as fool's gold, because I remember when I was in like third grade, I was taught that Pyrite and gold are two different things. Pyrite is fool's gold, obviously. It looks like gold, but it's not. Pyrite is the truth seeker. It helps with grounding. It gives you everlasting energy. It gives you joy, physical manifestation, appreciation, and self-esteem. And it also helps with being burnt out. You know, like when you're like doing your schoolwork and you're like, I'm over this. I'm done. My brain doesn't work anymore. It sounds that's what your brain sounds like. Get some pyrite. It'll help with that. Trust me, I know. Before I got this, I was doing really bad in class, and then once I got it and I started like looking at it and putting my energy into it, I actually started paying more attention with school, and that was right when I started my YouTube channel back up again. I am living proof that crystals do work. If you don't believe it, you don't believe it. I don't care. Whatever. You do you. But if you believe it, awesome. Cool for you. If you don't, awesome. Cool for you. You know, I really don't care. My final crystal that I will talk about today is red jasper. Okay, so 
Red Jasper, if you can see it, it's another vial. It helps with calmness, it helps with awareness. It is great for grounding, it's great for strength and balance. It creates a connection for, with you to the earth. Does that make sense? Like, it connects you to the earth. It also brings healing and alignment to oneself. It also turns your dreams into possible realities. It can push you to turn those dreams into reality. That's all the crystals, but I wanna talk about this necklace. Okay, I'm gonna get up close and personal. Do not be weird about it. This, this is my chakra necklace that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. Okay, so starting from the top on this crystal, it has amethyst, lapis, aquamarine, green adventuring, tiger's eye, red agate, and red jasper. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this and want to see me do some little spell videos, be sure to comment down below and maybe I could share that with you guys. I need to do more research so it might be a couple of weeks before I actually upload one. Yeah, so those were all my crystals. Those were all my babies. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below anything, any video ideas, anything you want to ask me. I will be in the comments answering questions that you have. Um, so yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. And I haven't done this in a while. Hit that bell, bruh. I don't even know if there is a bell anymore, is there? Be sure to hit that bell because every single time I post, which is Wednesdays, if you have the notification on, you'll know exactly when and you could be one of the first ones to watch my videos. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed my little energy session with you guys, awakening our third eye and talking about crystals. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much and bye. The UPS man came, that's awkward, bye.